My name is Kai Hall. I'm from Freshwater Independent Lifeboats. I'm going to look after the southwest coastline of the Isle of Wight, from Hurst Castle, around the Needles, all the way up to St Catherine's Point. My name is Mark Birch. I'm the Operations Manager for Sandown and Shanklin Independent Lifeboat. We cover an area from Benbridge Ledge right the way around to St Catherine's Point and some eight miles out. Yeah, my name is Adrian Farrell, I'm with Ride Inshore Rescue. Uh, we basically cover the eastern part of the Solent from Cowes towards uh, St Helens, Benbridge area and halfway across between us and Portsmouth. We average around 18 to 20 call-outs per year. On average we do 40 call-outs a year. On average we have between 40 to 60 call-outs a year. Reasons can vary from injured beachgoers. People stuck on cliffs. People not understanding how shallow the waters are. People cut off from the tides. Lost, cut off out of sea. The boats running the ground and breaking down. Uh, children drifting off inflatables. Paddle boarders suddenly being blown out to sea. Vessels sinking. Uh, people uh, lost. It costs around £90,000 per year to run the station and the cost of the items are insurances, boats and PPE. On average it costs between £30,000 to £50,000 a year to keep our station running. Our biggest expense is fuel and maintaining our boats and vehicles and of course the crew's PPE equipment, i.e. dry suits, life jackets, helmets, that sort of thing. On average it costs us 20000 a year to run a 24-7 frontline emergency service. It costs us £1,000 to get a crew member out. We then have paging systems, we then have mechanical breakdowns on vessels. We all just chip in and we get it all done. How important is fundraising to the station? Without fundraising we wouldn't be here. Without fundraising we wouldn't exist. Without your fundraising donations, we will be unable to have a station here. We are a solely independent lifeboat station. Uh, we rely on people making personal donations to us, whether it be buying stuff in our little shop, whether they're leaving us money in a wheel, or we can apply for individual grants from companies. If people can give to us, it helps us giving back to other people. Twelve months have been tough. Due to the COVID lockdowns, the shops had to close, we had to cancel fundraising events, and training had to be put on hold. We're hoping this year, with a bit more normality, we can get back to opening things up and getting more donations in. We, I suppose, like many groups of people, we're like a dysfunctional family. Um, we argue, we fight, we bicker, but we're brothers and sisters. It's so rewarding knowing that when you're going out, the person next to you has got your back, no matter what the situation, no matter how upsetting, difficult, physically and mentally it may well be. We are all there for each other. We've got a lovely coastline and we really want you to enjoy it. If you do go and buy an inflatable, write your name and a phone number on it. Come here, enjoy yourself. Love the beaches like we do on the Isle of We have some fantastic beaches over here. But think of the things around you. If you're not used to how the tide works, ask someone, find local information, find out when the tides are high, when they are low what the tide is doing when you're out on the beach, especially below low watermark with your family and your children. And if you ever see somebody in trouble, call 999 and ask for the Coast Guard.